The Wrath of Rosa Liesl had drifted back to sleep when the unmistakable voice of Rosa Huberman entered the kitchen. It shocked her awake. Vassie Sloss? Curiosity got the better of her then, and as she imagined a tirade thrown down from the wrath of Rosa, there was definite movement in the shuffle of a chair. After ten minutes of excruciating discipline, Liesl made her way to the corridor, and what she saw truly amazed her, because Rosa Huberman was at Max Vandenberg's shoulder, watching him gulp down her infamous pea soup. Candlelight was standing at the table. It did not waver. Mama was grieved. Her plump figure glowed with worry. Somehow, though, there was also a look of triumph on her face, and it was not the triumph of having saved another human being from persecution. It was something more along the lines of, See? At least he's not complaining. She looked from the soup to the dew to the soup. When she spoke again, she asked only if he wanted more. Max declined, preferring instead to rush to the sink and vomit. His back convulsed and his arms were well spread. His fingers gripped the metal. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Rosa muttered. Another one? Turning around, Max apologized. His words were slippery and small, quelled by the acid. I'm sorry. I think I ate too much. My stomach, you know, it's been so long since. I don't think it can handle such. Move, Rosa ordered him. She started cleaning up. When she was finished, she found the young man at the kitchen table utterly morose. Hans was sitting opposite, his hands cupped above the sheet of wood. Liesel, from the hallway, could see the drawn face of the stranger, and behind it, the worried expression scribbled like a mess onto Mama. She looked at both her foster parents. Who were these people? 